Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a question. How do you select whites? There are some ways you can sort of go about it. So if I could go select tonal range and just highlights. But this selects going to be a bit more than it wants. He's selecting the yellows in there and so on. And it's, you get what you're given from that. So not so sure there. What about select select sample color? And I can click on an area, but you see here, wherever I click and I get a different selection. And I can play with the tolerances, but again, it's very limited and it's, you know, there's a certain amount. It's not too bad. But here's another way of doing it. If I go to here, I'm just going to duplicate a layer here, because I'm going to use the second one. Go to Adjustments and Selective Color, and in here, go from Color here, down to whites. Now if all I want to do is to brighten the whites, I just turn the black down. And there you go, I brighten up those whites straight away and that'd be all you need to do. However, if you want to get a selection and do other things, then I can go down to the blend mode here, go down to difference, and what you can see there is it's sort of subtracted or selected from others. And you can see that these are the white areas that are selected. This is a bit dim, but we can bring it up by going to the background there and up to levels. And you can see this bit here of the histogram is where the, all the action is. And there's nothing in here. So I can pull down the white level. And in fact, there are some things in there, but they're very small. But I can bring them up down to here. When I get down to here, effectively, my histogram is now between these from black to white. And now I've got here is effectively it's a mask that I could use in, in any way I like. I could even pull this down even further and get a really hard edged one. But let's just leave it there for now. Because what we can do now is if I want to put a blend mode um, on that, I could just, for example, go down to here and go to screen. And there are, um, that's another way of brightening this up. I can change, use the opacity to adjust it. Just to get going to the selection though, let's go to this again. Go to channels. Now, the, um, when you've got white here, it's red, green, and blue, they're all going to be exactly the same. So you just pick any one of those right click on that and then load to pixel selection and now we've got those whites selected i can turn off that top layer now go back to if i want to change anything i can now also go to the selection brush turn off any snap to edges and paint away any bits that i don't want in here to make sure that's painted so i don't want those same then I can do what I want. For example, if I select the background layer, click on curves, it'll pick up the selection as a mask as it normally does. So that's selected in there. Now I can hit Control D to get rid of that. And now I can play with this in curves in any way I want. And again, I can brighten it, I can darken it or do whatever I want with the whites. So there you go. There's a way of selecting whites. Quite easy, bit of a faff, but not too bad. Thank you very much for watching.